Hello, my name is Kingsley. I'm an artist and I'd like to read you a story I wrote a while back. It's called Andre's Painting. Let's go. During art class in the school in a community one day, the teacher asked the kids to make a painting for what they believed would be the key to making the world a better place. In class that day was a bright young boy called Andre. Andre, intrigued by this challenge, went home and asked his parents for advice. After listening to him, his mom and dad decided to give him this response. His father said, Andre, we know exactly what will make the world a better place. We could tell you, but we feel it's better you go out and find out yourself. You might be surprised at what you may learn. Andre, surprised and not happy with the advice his parents had given him, knew that they'd much rather he go out, find out things for himself, rather than just hand him over all the advice. So the next day, he set off to meet his uncle. Andre met his uncle, asked his uncle the same question, and his uncle said, my dear boy, ask nature. Andre was like, nature? What do you mean? And his uncle said, why don't you go ask the frog? Andre, still confused, said, frog, uncle? Are you serious? And his uncle said, yes. You see, sometimes if you really want to know how to help people, the best and quickest way to do that is to go and ask those people what kind of help they actually really want. So if you want to know how to make the world a better place, you should ask the world. And I say, start with nature and a frog. Then Andre said, but why the frog? And his uncle said, well, because we don't have any gorillas here. And he walked away. Confused, Andre decided to go ask nature to see what nature would tell him. On his way, he met a frog under a log. The frog couldn't get itself out and it looked like the frog wasn't going to make it. So Andre picked up the log and helped the frog, saving the frog's life. After that, Andre picked up the frog now and asked the frog, Hey frog, could you tell me what would make the world a better place? The frog looked at Andre, jumped into the lake and disappeared without saying a single word. Many other things happened to Andre that day and at the end of the day he was no closer to finding out the key to making the world a better place. After that he went home, told his parents everything that had happened, sat in his chair feeling rather dejected. It was then that his father spoke up again and said, Andre, your story has been hilarious and we know that you're sad, but we believe your questions have been answered already. All you need to do is sit down and think about everything that has happened to you today, but from a different perspective. Andre, taking his parents' advice, decided, you know what, I'll think about it. He thought for a second and then suddenly he jumped up screaming, I got it, I got it. And then ran to his room and started painting his project rather hysterically. The next day, Andre walked into school after his colleagues had presented their projects. When it was Andre's turn, he took his painting uh, to the front of the class, unveiled it to reveal a beautiful portrait of himself. The teacher asked him, she said, Andre, this is indeed a beautiful portrait, but why did you paint a portrait of yourself? And then Andre decided to tell the teacher everything that happened to him the previous day, from saving the frog, from pushing a big rock that helped water a tree, from saving a dog from being run over, and a little child from falling off his carriage. Andre said to the teacher, if I hadn't saved the frog, the frog would have been dead. If I didn't help the tree by moving the rock, it would not be getting any water or nutrients. If I didn't save the little girl, she may have been seriously injured. So I decided, from looking at everything from a different perspective, that the key to making the world a better place is actually us. We need to be the change that we want to see in the world. 
so I made a portrait of myself. After that, there was silence in the class and suddenly the whole class erupted in thunderous applause and cheers. Wow, Andre, said his teacher, I am absolutely impressed. Such wisdom. Well done. With that, she handed him the trophy, which Andre accepted to the cheers and applause of his classmates. When he got home that day, Andre showed his prize to his parents, who were deeply proud of him for figuring out the key to making the world a better place while learning a new valuable lesson and also winning the art competition in the school. Andre kept his trophy in his room and although he knew that he and his actions alone would not be enough to completely change the world, he understood that whatever he did, however little, had an impact and such works tend to spread far and wide just like a ripple in a lake. Another lesson he most probably learned from the frog. The end. Well, thank you for listening to that story. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Again, it's part of my collection from my Nigerian Folktales and Other Stories book, Volume 2. Uh, you can find it on Amazon and I'll leave a, a link to the description below. Thank you for this and um, to the next one. Bye.